Well, that's the thing, too. Eichel, as we talked about with his neck surgery, yeah. another guy kind of like a cane but younger in the sense yeah. that he had a, an injury. Teams were kind of a little bit, I think, maybe apprehensive in a sense. He certainly has proved them wrong as well. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I've always been a, a Jack Eichel fan. I, I always think he yeah. kind of got, you know, he was, was actually second in behind Connor Mc, um, McDavid. David, right. He was drafted. Ne- he never kind of got that respect I yeah. think he deserved because he was in Buffalo. Yeah. They weren't really playing that well with him. And usually, and then now there's like this whole thing where where the where he, he looks. I think if he looks back on it, it's probably the best thing that happened to him is playing on a team like that, going to Vegas. And I think he learned a lot more and became a better player personally from yeah. what I saw beforehand. Well, the adversity, uh, yeah. first of all, uh, um, I mean, it was probably one of the, if not the most compli- complicated file I've ever worked on. Because, really? uh, yeah, we start working with, with Jack during the issue when he had to make uh, a decision about the kind of surgery. Mm-hmm. If you guys recall, I mean, the artificial disc replacement wasn't a surgery that was approved by the NHL clubs. Uh, approved. Right. It was a, yeah. it was the um, fusion. the fusion, yeah. uh, and so um, Jack was adamant about getting the ADR done. And uh, when uh, we start working together, we had to go through a lot of hoops. He had fifty million left on his contract, five more years at ten million a year. Yeah. So it, for a team to acquire his rights, they had to also be responsible for the 50 million left and not knowing what this surgery is about. Mm-hmm. And and I would say that most surgeons, I would say that 98% of surgeons were against the ADR. Mm. Dr. Prosmak, Dr. Bray in California and Dr. Camisa were major players into being in favor of Jack getting the ADR. And we had to go against the grain a lot. And I give all the credit to Jack, first of all, for being, he was extremely stubborn, but he also studied a lot. He became Mm -hmm. an expert in the room of talking about this surgery. And I became so, I mean, at one point, I knew all the different brands (laughs) of discs that could be used (laughs) for different impact sports and so on and so forth. (laughs) And and, um, so... But I also give credit to Vegas and maybe a couple other teams who were sniffing and trying to get his rights because it was risky. Sure. And Vegas went in and uh, at all costs, they gave a pretty good package. They were they gave us room to work with him on his rehab as well with Mark Lindsay, who was mm-hmm. excellent in doing the rehab. Um, actually, Mark was working with Jack in uh, Kristen um, um, uh, McCaffrey in uh, in uh, well, now in, yeah. in uh, San, San Francisco. Francisco. So doing the rehab wow. for three to four months, it was it was yeah. uh, so it was an amazing uh, recovery again. And so Vegas made that the decision to go all in, and most teams didn't didn't have permission from the medical staff because most GMs want they were willing to, you know, yeah. 24, 25 year old center like that. So uh, but then going to Vegas. Uh, he went through a lot of adversity with this file because it lasted six months of battles mm. in order for us to Jeez. get him moved. He became stronger, I would say, because of all that. And and Vegas has a lot of great pieces. Mm-hmm. And the Vegas Golden Knights organization did a great job in assembling all the, the right pieces around around, you know, Jack and and he bought in. Yeah. You know, he's becoming also a very, very good two hundred feet center. Uh, better well, than ever. You mentioned something uh, interesting a few minutes ago. You said the NHL doesn't approve it. How can the NHL dictate to a person what type of surgery they're allowed to have? That's a little bit yeah. excessive, I think. Yeah, it's a great question. and It's in the CBA, and uh, I'll oh, be honest with you. I didn't know. Most agents probably didn't even know about this because you know what? Uh, I would say, again, probably 99% of procedures are already accepted, like you yeah. know your typical shoulder surgery, whether it's lat- laterology or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, you have uh, options, but it's it's all there, been there, done that. Right. This was a new concept, and in the CBA, the players, like the team doctor could not clear you. Right. If you don't do, so I'm assuming that in the next CBA, this will go away, perhaps. Because that was my understanding, that the yeah. Buffalo uh Team doctors insisted on him having a fusion. That was where the battle became. Of yeah. what I understand is uh, yeah, they were insisting and in, without throwing a 
at Dart at, at the Buffalo Sabres. No, no, no. I mean, it's it's understandable. Most but... other teams, including probably the panel on the NHL, the yeah. NHL PA, of, uh, PA yeah. doctors, were all against. So everyone was against it. So it's not like one, you know what I mean? Vegas took a chance. Yeah, I mean, as a spine specialist myself, I don't do surgery, but I have to do the conservative aspect of that. The last thing you want to do is fuse a 25-year-old kid. Sure. I mean, that, that's... Because then what ends up happening is when you do a fusion, you know, it causes the levels above and below because you're now you're, there's no longer motion at that disc. Yes. It causes the levels above and below. They're much more prone to injury, much more stress there, and it causes a basically a domino effect. Domino effect. Yeah. Then next thing he's getting the next level done, the next level done, and then it's like he's 34 years old. He's had three fusions. Yeah. You know, the disc, the ADR, and again, the ADR is not a perfect surgery, mm -hmm. but as an alternative for the situation, you can always fuse. You could always, we, we talked about it That's too. The, you can always do it. That's yeah. the best important thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for him. I, 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 I was rooting for him to win the cup. There's certain players that Jay and I talk about, we want them to win a cup in their career, yeah. facing adversity. He was one of them, and I'm yeah. glad he did it. Yeah. yeah. So no, I, he's, he is really contributing to the Golden Knights. He's <laughs> such a strong player. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah.